Hey guys, it's Brittany with Swope Hair and today I'm going to be showing you how I get my puff bigger on an old wash and go and it's the perfect puff. This is my go-to hairstyle. I love it when my hairstyle has gotten old, whether it's a twist out or ride sale or wash and go, I love to pull it up in the puff and get a lot of volume. So I'm going to stretch my hair out now with my blow dryer. You can go in medium heat, high heat. I'm not afraid of high heat because the heat isn't encapsulated. I mean, it's going straight through. I don't spend a lot of time on each section. Just stretching it a little bit. And this is where I'm going to get my volume. So just watch me do this for a while and I'll be back when I'm doing something new. So now that my hair is blow dried, I'm going to go in with a spray bottle and I'm just going to spray my edges to pour and go my hair because it's going to make it more pliable when it's time for me to pull my hair up. And so now I'm going to take some gel, gel of your choice, um, and I'm going to put that around the perimeter as well. I'm not going to use a lot. I like to use the water mix with the gel. It just softens the hair a lot and makes it easier to brush so that I'm not breaking hair or damaging any hair in the making of this video. So I'm taking my dimming brush, brushing up the perimeter of my hair, just just going brushing it maybe like two inches back. That's it. Because the further you brush back, the your puff, the rubber band will start to slide up if you brush it too far back. So I don't like my rubber band to go you know too small I like it to stay kind of wide it's going to give me a fuller bigger puff take my rubber band you know where there's a necklace for a second and then I go in and pull it up the back just make sure that's smooth and just make sure no hair is caught in the rubber band got it around the front and I'm going to double it up and put it down around where the first part was and then I'm just going to make sure my hair is not in the rubber band and I'm going to slide it up. Simply slide it up. And you can kind of still see the part in my head, but I'll fix that later. And pretty much that's it. Once I get that part out of the middle of my head, like I'm good to go. But I feel like we're missing something though. I feel like we're missing something. Oh yeah, we were missing the edges. The edges need to be smooth. I need some something pizzazz going on in the front. Cause so I got a whole bunch of front going on. And so we're gonna zip through this. And I, if you would like a detailed video on how I lay my edges, make sure you leave a comment below and I will do a more detailed video because it's not as like simple like, cause I know a lot of people struggle with it. But, I think I will make a separate video for this. 